the president in Washington, D.C., D.C. Comics. I'm going to have to look more, a lot more into D.C. Comics. Something tells me we've been missing out on a lot of jokes over the years with D.C. Comics and political office because, uh, again, this is what we've been living out, a, a cabal that mocks us with their entertainment. And um, in light of all the 76s we talked about with Donald Trump and his indictment, 76 days from his birthday while he's age 76 on the 76th date numerology because of Stormy Daniels born on the 76th day of the year, Warner Brothers also equals 76. Burbank, California, 76. It's funny, in the NBA, there's a team that joined the NBA in 1976, and their star player's nickname is what? Oh, I, I got a typo here. Let me fix it right now in real time. Joke doesn't equal 76. Joker does. If you don't follow the NBA, there is a guy who's nicknamed the Joker. And yes, he does play for a team that joined the NBA in 1976. That Also, that year, they perform. I don't know why I can't get this to... Okay, this doesn't want to cooperate right now. Must be because we're live streaming. I'll come back and fix that. Joker equals 76, not joke. Um, and again, did I lose my internet connection here? Because now I see that nothing wants to load. Are we connected to the internet? Are we... Hmm. Well, it says my connection is good. Okay, I guess it was just my website that was tripping there for a minute. Huh, it doesn't do that very often. Okay. Um, well, honestly, so my real goal is to get this work recognized so that, like, big names. Like, my, my goal is, you know, I want... Last time we were down here in Seattle, we got the Deborah Horn from Cairo 7 to come out and interview us. But they never put it on the news, right? They didn't share. So, okay. I mean... I want them to share that information with people. I want uh, Bill Maher, you know, which is probably never going to happen, but that's the goal is to get on these big platforms so that big people get this information. And then through that, I mean, you essentially get the opportunity to interview maybe somebody like Bernie Sanders and find out what's really going on. 